disagree very much on that. Um, Ron Rivera, in his first season here, he gets fired from Carolina last year, and and I think for the first time in a long time, Washington has, as Chris would say, an adult in the room. They went three and thirteen last year. Win total is five and a half. To go over is plus one twenty. To go under is minus one forty. To win the division, they are plus seventeen hundred. Uh, going back and looking at the stats from last year, number twenty seven in offensive yards per play, twenty one in defensive yards per play, number fourteen in turnover. That that wasn't that bad. Um, this is the Chase Young show on defense now. I mean, he's going to step in immediately. You just got to see, okay, is he going to get hurt like everybody else on the defense? Because, good gracious. Um, you know, they, they've got Jack Del Rio on defense. I trust him. And and I think, I mean, that they made really good coaching hires. I, I like what they did. They I, added lo- a, I love the way this team is being built. Oh, yeah. They added a they ton are, of they vets. They are a couple years away. Yeah. But I love the way this team is being built. Added a ton of vets in the secondary. They... Uh, yeah. The offense cut Peterson and Geis, and Cody Latimer is gone, uh, so they don't have a ton of real weapons. I mean, they got uh, Terry. Uh, what's the guy's name? McClure. But yeah, uh, McClure. McCle- I don't. I McClellan. Look, I'm... McCle- whatever his name. The, the, yeah, the wide receiver who was pretty good, who seems to yeah. have a pretty Second good second year uh, guy, rookie yeah, last year. Pretty good chemistry with uh, Dwayne Haskins. I mean, they're both Ohio State guys. That kind of makes sense. This is a foundation building season, uh, which DFS, by the way, came in, said number three in the league in rushing defense last year. Yeah, but Stout. that's because they could throw on them. And that's like, about to and that's about to get real that's about to get even better. Uh hey, maybe not better than three, but their numbers overall will be better. He said, uh time for Chris to pay for his second lap dance or hell, even the classic four for two deal. I got the Eagles with at least eight wins. You taking it? That ain't happening. I'll take that. I ain't worried about that at okay. all. Okay. Um and they do they do have three winnable games to start the season against Washington, the Rams, and the Bengals. But go ahead, keep talking, keep talking Washington up as a, as just an easy W. Well, here here's the deal. This is a foundation building season to me. I I think it is year zero. They're just trying to get you know front office guys out of there. They're trying to get all kind of people. Just it, they're they're trying to clean up right. And I, I like I like who they brought in as the new team president. You know, right? I think he's awesome. Um, However, I think it's going to be tough because I think there's still some chemistry to be built. There's still guys that they got to get out of this locker room to make the team better. This is foundation building season number one. I've got them 5-11. and 11. It wouldn't surprise me to see them be a little bit better than that because I think that they're going to focus on fundamentals this season. I, think I got them 6-10. and 10. Okay. okay. I got them 6-10. and 10. It's not great, but it's way better than the seller. All right? And, and, I, and I think they could – that's probably where I think they're going to end up being, 6-10. and 10. Um. Ron Rivera is a legit coach. Okay, Blackjack Del Rio, you got two of the biggest gamblers I've ever seen in my life from the head coaching perspective. All right, Riverboat Ron and Blackjack Rio. Listen, these guys got balls. All right, they got big haunches, and they are not afraid to pull them out and show them to you in the game. If they think they can win by just taking a chance, they're gonna gamble. So yeah. they might lose big, but but they're also gonna have an edge to where if they get a couple of things go right. They're going to beat your ass, and you're not going to be expecting it. You're, not, you're going to want to know what happened, okay? They are going to be so much better. I do not believe in Dwayne Haskins. I do not. I think that was a mistake for a draft pick last year, and I I wish that they had a better option at quarterback. If they had a better option at quarterback, I'd get this team to eight wins. I um, really believe that. Joseph Gomez said, I need to see Haskins for a full year to be a believer, and DFS jumps in. Kyle said that Haskins might throw 25 picks this year. Yeah, that does. Hey, it's entirely me at possible. All. He he could he could get close to Jameis's number. I am not a believer in in Dwayne, but the one thing I do wonder is, will they go out and get a quarterback in the middle of the season, one of these veteran guys, and and if Dwayne's not cutting it, will they will they pull the hook on him and 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 say, hey, we need to go forward with somebody else? Because I don't think this team is as bad as you think they are. This team has been drafting at the bottom of the draft for a while, and they've drafted not terribly. Okay, yeah. I, I think they've got a lot of weapons on defense and on offense. A, man, hey, look, look, look! Uh, Antonio Gandy Golden from yep. Liberty and uh, uh, Antonio Gibson. Gibson, the man boy from, from Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. Now listen, Memphis is Memphis is due. Memphis is due a good one. All right, yes. Memphis has had a lot of guys get drafted for a school like Memphis lately, and not a damn one of them has panned out. I think Anthony Miller's been all right, uh, but I mean, it would, when your quarterback is Trubisky, what can you? Expect, I know, man? I know it might be not be. Hang on, no, no. <laughs> At some point in time, we got to stop blaming the quarterback. Okay, 
because Hopkins never had a good quarterback his life until uh, okay, he found Watson. True, true, and he was one true. of the best receivers in the world. Allen Robinson <laughs> played with Trubisky and was really good last year. Also played with Blake Boyles before that and was really good. So at some point in time, we got to stop blaming the damn quarterback. Receivers are good. I want Anthony Miller to be good. He hadn't been yet. No, 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 bust. not yet. Hey, let me. He got drafted. Bust. Let me let me dive in here right quick on this comment. Damian jumps in and said Washington can go nine and seven or even eleven and five if Haskins stays healthy because that O line is uh, is still questionable, especially at tight end. You think they could go nine and seven or eleven and five? I don't know. No, huh? I don't think that, and I don't think there's any way on earth Haskins is that good. I'd love to be proven wrong about that, but I just don't think Haskins is that good. Uh, Joseph said no one's letting their vets go with COVID still around, but Paxton Lynch is still in the league, so who really knows? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's in that Christ. locker room over at uh, over in Pittsburgh. That's the way it goes. Paxton's seven-foot-tall dead ass. Yeah, DFS jumps in. Zero chance that they go 9-7 or 11-5. to five. There's a, it, This, that, this that team ain't out. built yet. It's just not no. there. No, I know that, I just, but the, I don't think they're going to be in the cellar. I, I don't think I so think, either. I think they're going to be picking in the teens and in the mid-teens next year. Yep. And I, I think there's a really good chance they finish second in this division. I wish I could get odds on them finishing second in the division. Yeah. You can't find that. You can only find the winner for everything. I, I, There's no snowball's chance in hell of them winning it. If I'm right about the Eagles, if I'm right about the Giants, I'm right about Washington, they're finishing number two. <laughs> DFS said I'll reverse my vasectomy if that happens. Like if they go nine and if seven, they go, if they win eleven <laughs> games, yeah, that's a that's a pretty big. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, on earth that's happening. No, I think there's no chance. I think there is no chance. All right, all right, we made it through an hour. We got Let's eight go. more teams done. We're gonna knock out some more again next week before the season begins. Uh, I think. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Damien said, "What the hell? Why are y'all still bringing up Trubisky?" Like, hey. Man, he's on your team. What do you want me because to do? Because he is still considered possibly your starting quarterback. Yeah. It's, and it's until ridiculous. somebody comes out and sa- and waves the white flag, I'm going to think there's a really good chance he might start the season. It's entirely possible. It is entirely possible. All right. Everybody, if you would, do us a favor. Go, go over to the Sportsbook Review YouTube page. Make sure that you are subscribed. We will be going live over there tomorrow at 10 a.m., discussing the day's college football games. We got some FBS, FCS games. We got some fun ones that evening. And look, we even got a little, you know, I guess we'll call it Pac-12 after dark, but we're we going to call it Conference USA after dark with UTEP playing at like 9 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night. So we got some games tomorrow. We're going to discuss them. We're going to get ready to rock and roll. And make sure that you are subscribed to that channel. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. And make sure you are subscribed to our podcast and you go over to winningcureseverything.com. We are going to knock out all of our NFL picks, all of our NFL talk and whatnot over here. We're still going to talk NBA, all that kind of stuff. Man, it's uh, it, it's going to be a good season. I am ready for football. It, a, uh, Damien said, hey, Gary, at least Trubisky doesn't do hit and runs with his motorcycle like Big Ben. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, no. There's no doubt Mitchell Trubisky is a way better person than Big Ben. I, I mean, Like, like I a think million so times better person than Big Ben has ever been. Ever. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Ever. Look, I'm but not a big close. Ben. I'm not a massive Big Ben fan. I don't I don't care. He just plays he for the team be. I like. He shouldn't be. He's terrible. Either uh, way. We got a little bit of breaking news, so college football related. What do we have? TCU SMU two weeks from now. No, no, no. Postponed that's, already. That's next Friday. Well, all right, not anymore. It's postponed? It's been postponed. The Horn Frogs have a spike in COVID. <sighs> so this is the first domino to fall, and all those who don't want football are gonna be claiming this a victory well let them claim it because i watched football last night between that's right and i'm gonna watch it tomorrow damn it you got that right we are having college football damn it let's do this all right like i said sbr's youtube page sbrpicks.com slash ncaaf winning cures everything.com make sure you are subscribed to the podcast leave a nice five-star review help us out all you guys that jumped in the chat dfs damian joseph uh matt miller I mean, all these guys, right? Uh, Ben, et cetera. Thank you guys so much for jumping in and being part of the show. We appreciate you very, very much. Uh, Make sure you check out the uh, SBR NFL page, Um, sbrpicks.com slash NFL. Kyle is over on their YouTube channel doing the NFL stuff with our buddy Donnie. They are fantastic. They are going through their previews as well. If you want to hear what they have to say, they might be smarter than we are. I mean, it's it's possible. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Either way. 
Go check out all the stuff that SBR has got for you. You can find it all, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. It'll take you to everything else, too. So knock that out. You guys have been great. We, uh, we are going to go ahead and cut this thing off. We hope that you all have wonderful weekends. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.